My name is Phil Badel. I'm the welding instructor at Whitewater Career Center in Connersville, Indiana. We pull in from five different sending school corporations, students who um, their junior, senior year in high school want to pursue a career. Uh, students are taught the foundations of welding in our program and all the way up to the advanced skills. They spend about a thousand, a little over a thousand hours of training. Um, and when they graduate, they have the opportunity to become certified welders through the American Welding Society. The welding program is successful for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, we strive to meet industry standards. We strive to give them relative information that is current and we strive to create a, an environment where they can take their skills directly into the workforce. It's also been successful because people are realizing that um, you can have a skilled trade and have a great career and earn a good living by doing a skilled trade rather than just going to a four-year degree. Well, no matter what we teach them in school, there is no substitute for experience. Real world, on the job, hands-on experience. You cannot teach that. Hoosier Feeder has been a part of my program for many, many years. Um, we, uh, we met Chris when, uh, when we were looking for, to get some supplies and materials donated several, several years ago. And uh, he was very gracious and helped us out. And then it's kind of developed and blossomed. And, and this year they were uh, a big sponsor for uh, the FFA welding competition, the district welding competition in our area. And that sponsorship then allowed us to get a large scholarship, thousand dollar scholarship. And uh, that really helps our program. So anything we ever ask for, they're always right there to help us out. And uh, we've had several, several students that have gone on and uh, become employees over there. Uh, you know, they, they see the value of what is the opportunity that Hoosier Feeder can offer them. That donation was actually instrumental in repairing several pieces of equipment that uh, were in desperate need. Uh, it's expensive when uh, your welding machines start to have breakdowns. And we had two welders that needed new welding guns, and we had an iron worker that needed new blades. And uh, that is a monstrous tool that we use daily. And their donation was able to purchase those pieces of repair equipment that we were then able to get those machines back in operation to allow our students to use them. It's crazy to see the number of people that are involved in the number of organizations that help out Skills USA. And we are so grateful for all the industry support because there's no way we could do this and we could show these kids and train these kids without the industrial support from the, from the community.